So before we move on to the discussion for today, uh, we've had stories from Shei Vibes and, of course, um, Mubat's wife and all of that. This is just part of what happened mm -hmm. in the week in entertainment. Um, what's your take as regards, first of all, um, the good news about Shea Vibes, the Modo Black and others uh, having high streams on different platforms. Well, I'm certainly glad that um, we are breaking the glass ceiling, obviously. Truly. Um, I won't lie, I'm a big fan of Shea Vibes, but <laughs> I am proud of him because, I mean, we literally just started to hear, hear about him from last year. Mm -hmm. I mean, before last year, I can't remember knowing any Shea Vibes. All of a sudden, he's here. And I think it, it speaks to the fact that um, the industry is now more open to new players to come to, to show us their music. Is it good? Is it bad? We we'll know according mm. to the streams. Mm -hmm. And for the second story, Mubad, um, Mubad's wife, yes. the whole controversy, I kind of knew that it would come to this. And I, and I don't know. It's, it's a family issue. So you think it shouldn't have come to this, mm -hmm. right? I knew that it would come to this. It shouldn't have, but it will. Or rather, it has. So, um, well, she should do the DNA test and let's see. Just um, to keep the naysayers exactly. away, let's right? Let's just keep the naysayers away yes. so she can have peace of mind. All right, so quickly, we'll move to our discussion for today. Of course, we have um, the group chief executive officer of... Um, Sample Management Group, Idris Laranimbe, joining us this morning to talk about the impact of the creative industry on the nation's economy. Of course, we all know that the creative industry is said to be the second largest employer of labor in the country. And he joins us via Zoom. And, of course, he is um, the head, of, of course, uh, is the group chief executive of the Temple Management Company and a member of the company's board of directors. Of course, he found Temple Management in 2016. Good morning, and thank you very much for joining us at this point. Good morning, Theophilus. Um, thank you for having me. Good morning, Panke. Good morning. Good, Good morning. morning. So uh, let's quickly get uh, into it as, it's, as it is. Now, you found a temple, man, uh, temple management quite all right, and you have some um, artists and um, basically creative industry experts under um, temple management. Um, looking at the creative industry so far, did you expect that, uh, I know temple management is eight years old right now, but did you expect that eight years ago the industry will be like this as it is? So good morning again um, to uh, our viewers. Before I answer, I'd like to first um, make a shout out to Tunde Onokoya, who is um, doing Nigeria proud, yes. um, who has yeah, from Nigeria is. proud. Um, but I mean, I, I, I'd like to also make the point that uh, while the record that the entire world is celebrating of him is breaking the uh, world record for playing chess, yes. I think that the remarkable thing that he has done mm -hmm. and is doing is changing lives with chess. And um, I'm a fan, I'm a supporter, and I'd like to congratulate him. Now, um, to your question, I, where, where we are and where we expected to be, I think that when we started this journey in um, 2008, um, we knew what the opportunities were. Mm -hmm. we, we expected um, some of the things that we've experienced. Um, but in terms of where we where we could be, um, we're not quite there yet. We all of us at the Temple Company and a lot of the people that we collaborate with agree that um, in terms of what the potentials are, what the possibilities are, that we're only just scratching the surface. Mm. And um, um, every day, I mean, it's what what keeps us going, um, um, pushing on, learning from the experiences of people who have done it, um, going back to the drawing board. Um, to see how we can improve and get there quicker, right. um, seeing how we can expand the opportunities. Um, you guys talked about um, Shei vibes yes. just before I came on. And I mean, um, I think it's important to um, state that the founder of, um, of DAPA um, used to be my colleague at the Temple Company. <laughs> and the, the, the example of what is possible I mean, so in eight years, um, Dami is one of the people who have worked with us, and he has gone on to start something that we're immensely proud of. Mm. And he has discovered, I mean, at least two of the um, biggest new talents that exist um, in, our, in our industry today, and perhaps global, um, Shaiva and Charlie Poppy. And so, again, it's, it's, it's to a, testi a testimony to what is possible and what is coming. 
Okay, so we'll um, just hold up on this discussion for now. We'll go on a quick commercial break. And when we come back, we'll continue our discussion with um, Idris Alonimbe. Um, do stay tuned. Yeah, welcome back. It's still the uh, TVC Breakfast uh, Saturday, of course. This is the entertainment segment on the Breakfast Show, of course. So we have been speaking with the, the Group Chief Executive Officer of Temple Management, um, Idris Alonimbe. Of course, he was talking to us about developments in the sector and um, its growth so far. But... Um, in all of this now, um, you will agree with me that the industry has not always been like this, as we have stated earlier. Uh, looking at the economy, what does the creative industry um, bring to the table? That um, the, the first thing that um, is, apart from money, is jobs. And um, I mean, we can use your set this morning as an example. Mm. And the fact that, I mean, the entire world is seeing just yourself and Banke. And across um, the room from you um, is dozens of people that you can see. Mm -hmm. And behind those people, there are um, scores of people who are supporting them. Yes, so it, it, the creative industry, in our, point, in our opinion, and I mean, has proven that it is um, one of the greatest um, employment employers of labor. So it's it, and which, which I think is very very critical. If you also look at what we have in terms of our population size and our median age, um, the people who are the hardest working in the industry are the young people, mm -hmm. and it's the one of the easiest ways for um, the nation to keep yeah, keep them engaged and keep them happy. And I mean again. Back to something that um, you had mentioned earlier, I mean, that, that, that showed earlier before the interview about um, autism. You know, there's actually space for autistic people in the creative industry. In fact, they are by far um, amongst the most creative people that exist in the arts. So we, we, we bring, we bring um, uh, an endless chain of opportunities um, to the economy in terms of... Um, in terms of the value, in terms of money, in terms of the value, in terms of jobs, and in the, the entertainment value as well. If not for the creative industry, we won't have, I mean, you guys here this morning, um, on a Saturday morning that um, maybe 90% of people are still sleeping from o one beds from yesterday. I mean, um, keeping those of us that are awake um, entertained. So, so you need us. They need us. Uh, and and we, we know this, and we are here to... Um, provide um, value. Okay, let's talk investment. Like you said, uh, the industry has brought a lot of good to the country's economy, but what kind of investments do you think we need apart from money? Yes, we need money. Yes, the industry does need money, but what other kind mm -hmm. of investments do you think the creative economy in Nigeria needs? So, um, the, the, the most critical, I mean, and it's money that will make it happen, is the infrastructure. Um, we have done um, a bit of it with Okidi Studios, which we launched, I think, four or five years ago. Uh, I know that um, an arena is coming um, in Oniru. They've, they've broken ground. The completed time, or rather the expected um, time of completion is end of next year. Uh, it's, it's, it's one, and it's the first, I mean, purpose-built um, arena that we're going to have in Lagos. And from the information I have, the capacity is above 10,000. We don't have that. We need more of that. Um, mm -hmm. In terms of um, the film studios and film lots, um, a few have started. I know for a fact that... Um, um, Latifa de Dimeji has embarked on one. Mm. Um, I know that the Lagos State Government um, were involved as well, um, the one in Nigeria, um, and so on and so forth. So the, the more of those things we have, um, the, the, the better the quality of our output will be. We also need um, a bit more in education. A lot is happening now. Um, I, I can tell you, we... We have run quite a few trainings. When the company started, we were doing um, free master classes. We have evolved. We have, we have partnered with the Lagos State Government and we are running 
something we call the Giddy Creative Center, mm. where we're training young people um, across the um, skills required to thrive in the creative industry. We also partnered with um, Next Level, that's um, based in the um, US, um, sponsored by the US Consulate in Lagos and the Department of State in, um, in America to train more young people. So what we, 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 we need um, uh, improvement in infrastructure, and we also need improvement in, um, in, skill, um, in skill and um, talent. And, but we're, we're moving um, um, not as fast as I'd like because I, I'd like us to um, convert those opportunities like right now, mm. but we're, we're certainly moving in the right direction. And from, from the conversations um, we had with um, the, this administration at their inception and some of the plans that I know that they have, the, the, those kind of trainings that we've run with the Lagos State Government, which under the GCC, are going to be expanded uh, nationwide. So uh, in Lagos, I, uh, uh, tens of thousands of people have been trained, and you can imagine what would happen when it goes um, on the national scale, um, the amount of people that uh, we can improve their, their skill sets and by so doing improve the um, quality of our output and also increase the capacity to earn for for us in the industry and for the nation at large. So you talked about um, skills and infrastructure and training. Um, yeah. My own question here will be, what role does education and skills development play in nurturing talent um, and sustaining growth within the sector? So it plays, uh, the, the, uh, if you do, it, you might be born with the innate skills, mm -hmm. but you still need to be nurtured. Mm. And a lot of it, I mean, skill without character can't take you anywhere. Mm. So you, you need to learn from the people who have done it, who understand it. And you need to also um, develop your character so that, I mean, because success is um, um, an aphrodisiac. And mm. if you do not know how to manage it, you would... Um, very quickly lose it. We, we say that um, talent is the easiest part of it uh, because people can be born with it. Um, you can be naturally talented, but it won't take you very, very far. And so, uh, does that answer your question? I believe it. I believe it does. <laughs> well, I, I'm going to bring my feministic vibe here and ask about women. Yes, I am for women. Thank you very much. Yes. Well, I, I know that I'm you a, know I'm that. A, I'm a very proud girl, Dad. I'll yes. That. <laughs> Can so, you see yourself? Uh, I was always laughing I'm at broke. me. <laughs> Anyway, women have done a lot, a, like a lot yeah. of good things in the film industry, most especially, and also in the music industry. My question yeah. is, how do you think that we can increase women participation in this industry? And actually, I know the likes of Mo Abudu, um, there is also Tiwa Savage doing Beard things Stevens. in the industry, Beyond Stevens and all, Funke and Kid Dele. But how do you think that we can bring in more women into this industry? And I'm not so, just talking the, about the film and music, I'm talking about the whole creative economy. So the first thing is that um, the women must be interested. Um, sure. And they, there's a high level of interest from women, I mean, to, to uh, buttress that. Uh, if you think about Temple, the, uh, the, 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 one of our biggest assets is um, one of our clients, um, Bisola Ayola. Mm -hmm. um, and... I know for a fact that part of what um, um, she does, and we, we encourage her to do, and encourage our other um, clients to do, Mimi and um, Mimi Onolaja, is mentorship. Now, it's also important to state that, I mean, um, success is unlikely to happen overnight. And a lot of times, the people we see that succeed is um, what we call 10 years overnight success. So, the, the doggedness, the, the determination um, is one of the, the most important things that uh, we, keep, we keep passing on. There are also quite a few initiatives um, that we've supported at um, te the Temple Company and Ogidi Studios um, with regards to female um, 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 skill development. Mm. Um, there's um, 
um, I can't remember the name now, but I mean, the female producers, I mean, I've had camps at our studio, um, female presenters, I think that was um, 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 Bolinto who, who led that. So we continue to, to support, we'll continue to support. Um, Banke, if you have anything or any way that you think that we can provide support for you with our skills and our infrastructure and our network, oh, we'll be very Thank you. Good. Um, thank you. I will uh, be taking you up uh, on that. Uh, women are, are very, very important to us, and uh, we put them um, um, at the top of the list of everything that we're doing. Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, Nicholas is jealous, by the way. No, no, I, I'm not jealous, actually. <laughs> <laughs> well, Idris... Uh, we're not leaving, we're not leaving the men behind, don't worry. No, 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 we're not leaving the men behind. We're always at the forefront, creating a way for the women Excuse to thrive. Me? It's important for us. Thank you very much, Idris, of course. It's been an interesting discussion. I wish we had uh, more time to have, to have more in, in discussions with you, but I'm sure we'll create more, and we'll have that time to have some tete a tete with you as well. Thank you so much for talking to us this morning, Idris. Thank you. Thank you for having me.